Are we ready to go or what? No, hold on. Wait, wait, Parker. Uh, move to your right. Okay. Right about there. Don't know really why, but okay. Wait, whoops. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, I forgot to say it. It's our 100th episode, so let's get to it. Hello everybody, and thanks for joining us for this week's episode of Laker Nation Weather. I'm Parker Keezer. We have a chance of seeing a few inches of snow on Valentine's Day, so let's take a look at that weekend forecast and break down the total. So take a look at your weather headlines. Very cold temperatures overnight tonight. We're looking at very frigid below zero readings across most of the area with some cold sunshine on your Saturday before. Then we'll start to see some snow returning to the area on Sunday, multiple inches of snow is possible as well but overnight tonight here's what we're watching as we zoom the map down towards the state view notice some of those areas off towards the north that's 30 below temperature readings and then the further south you go looking about 10 below here in the metro area so a cold night for everyone in the state of minnesota but working into your afternoon on saturday high pressure will be in the area which will clear us on out of any clouds that we might have but with that, we're going to stay cold as well. So overnight tonight, 10 below zero, mostly clear, very cold, feels like temperatures. Wind chill values will be way below that 20 below mark. Northwest winds around 10 to 15 miles per hour, so it will be cold for the whole area. But otherwise, your weekend forecast, here's what we have going on. Nine degrees with that cold sunshine. Morning temperatures will still be below zero by about nine o'clock in the morning, looking about the southeast wind around 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then on Valentine's Day, 21 degrees with those snow showers and a south-southeast wind around 10 to 15 miles per hour. So speaking of the snow, here's what we're looking at in the metro area, about 4 to 6 inches of snow, metro specific. But then the further you go on out, still looking at that 4 to 6 inch range. So areas, say, Buffalo, West, Dassel, Howard Lake, still looking about that 4 to 6 inch range. But then northeast of the metro, then we start to drop on down to about two to four inches of snow. So we're looking at snow. Just keep in mind, some areas will get more of that and some areas will get less of that snow. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of Laker Nation Weather. We'll see you next time.